Hiya! Welcome! I've been record shopping in Germany again. Not literally. That would be unusual. <laughs> I'd love to though. Um, I bet Germany's got some brilliant record shops in like Berlin and places like that. Anyway, if you cast your mind back a couple of weeks ago, I made a purchase from a German music website that I, it was almost by accident that I came across it. It's called jpc.de. I think in that video I was referring to it as JPE, but um, it's definitely JPC and you'll see the logo on the screen to correct me if I happen to misquote the name again. But um, I got Falco, the Austrian pop artist's album Emotional, unlimited edition red vinyl. It was a brilliant price. I just got the one record from JPC, just wanting to test the water really, and it came in under a week. And I thought, I've got to give this site another go as soon as possible. And then I thought, well, what artists am I wanting to collect at the moment? And there's a few actually and you'll be seeing some more videos, not only relating to the artists that have bought two albums from today, but uh, other particular acts who I'm wanted to build up within my record collection. So the total price of this order, can't remember the exact price in euros, but after conversion from euros to pounds, including postage, this was just over £36 for two albums. You can pay over £40 for two brand new albums, and these will be brand new and sealed as well, by the way, from UK sites. So I'm really loving JPC for good priced records right now. As I said in the last video, the Falco unboxing, the only downside to it is everything is in German. I can't find an option to simply translate the entire website to English. I know there is browser extensions and things depending on what you're using that would do that for you to an extent, but for me just kind of using my phone and struggling with my eyesight and all the rest of it, I just kept having to copy and paste things and put them in Google Translate from German to English. Nonetheless, hopefully I've not mucked this order up. As I say, it's a group. I've only got one album in my collection from this group so far, although today we'll make three. It's come in this nice JPC mailer, over 36 pound two records that's international postage once again it's taken under a week to arrive oh yes right so i think i'll show you the oldest album first i think this is an album this band released in possibly 2018 it's a special limited edition so we're going to get it out and have a look Ooh -er. i'm talking about weezer and this won't be coming across very well at all because it's very dark but this is their self-titled album one of many albums from weezer that is self-titled but um it is subtitled the black album it would have been at least a year ago i think i got weezer's green album on limited edition green vinyl and um, i also got a uh, rivers cuomo funko pop at the same time brilliant album that one of my favourite purchases from around that time. And I've always been threatening to get more Weezer into my collection because they're a band I've loved since I heard the Buddy Holly single when I was a teenager all those years ago. I've just been focusing on other things and other artists to add to my music collection since then. But just lately, I've fancied going back to this Weezer collection and building it up. The trouble is with them, they've released a lot of albums. For a band who've really only been releasing music since around 1994, 95. Um, I think they've released like 18 studio albums. Some of those are now quite difficult to get for a good price. But um, the good news is they have reissued a lot of stuff as well. This will be like an original pressing from 2018. There is a hype sticker on. It's going to talk about what kind of edition this is because this is not just standard black vinyl and it would be appropriate for it to be given that this is the black album. Absolutely no chance of me reading anything on here. You can probably barely see, and I'll have put a picture up as well, that the band are there kind of dressed in black leather hoods and coats and stuff. So uh, let's get this open because this is a special edition. Don't think I've heard anything off this album. Open that nice and easy. But Weezer are great. Um, I've liked them for a long time. I used to have Buddy Holly on cassette single. I had El Scorcho, which was the lead single from their second album, Pinkerton, on CD. 
and obviously in much more recent times I got the Green Album which was originally out in I want to say 2001. There's your inner sleeve but it's the disc we want to look at hopefully I've been sent the right one. Oh yeah look at that half black half clear that's ace that I really like that so this is like an indie stores exclusive and Weezer have done this um, certainly for their last few studio albums I believe they've released like a special limited edition vinyl record of their album for supposedly indie stores only like independent record retailers you know bricks and mortar ones and online ones i don't know if jpc is classed as an indie retailer in germany so massively pleased with that so happy that i ordered the right version such a good price as well I think, excluding postage, this was up on the site for something like €17.99, Euros which is what? It's going to be like around £15, that. Brilliant. Black album from Weezer. So you know that we're sticking with Weezer today, and this is Weezer's latest studio album. They had to release two studio albums in 2021 this one and another one that i've ordered elsewhere and that i will be showing on this channel very soon but this is one that was actually scheduled to be released in 2019 but with the pandemic they decided to delay it and then they worked on another album in that time and then soon after this one that had been delayed a couple of years or so came out this is van weezer so there again we've got another hype sticker on has some really small text I'm not even going to attempt to try and read. Obviously a lot more colourful than the Black Album, certainly, and a lot clearer when it comes to reading the track listing on the back. There again, this should be an Indie Stores exclusive, assuming that A, I chose the right option when I was shopping, and B, they actually put the right one in the mailer to send out to me, but we'll find that out in just a moment. Van Weezer, the most recent Weezer studio album, I do believe they're planning to release four albums this year though, all to do with the seasons, spring, summer, fall and winter, according to Wikipedia when I was reading about them a few days ago. Yeah, and then with all the close to 18 or so other studio albums that Weezer have got, if I want to start really getting into them, there's so much that I've got to go and find. And uh, as I say, some of it isn't exactly cheap either. So I don't know if I'm going to be aiming for a complete Weezer album discography anytime soon. But with the price has been so good, and there's been one or two other bits that um, I've been keeping my eye on, and of course the album that I've got coming from a UK based retailer. I'm happy to add some Weezer to my collection because they're just such a great band. I'm gonna do this, that's another one done pretty neatly I think. Fingers crossed, this one is gonna be the special edition. Ah yeah, I can see it poking out. Oh yeah, look at that. Neon pink edition of Van Weezer. Van Weezer is meant to be not a parody, because they're not a parody band. They're a band with a big sense of fun and light-heartedness. You know, they're not sort of out-and-out piss-takers or a comedy thing. But this is meant to be kind of like their homage, I think, to your sort of 80s hair metal era. You know, obviously Van Weezer is named after Van Halen. I think this album's actually dedicated to Eddie Van Halen, who would have passed away around the time of the making of this. And I think it's also dedicated to Rick Okazic of The Cars, who did produce some of Weezer's earlier albums. Unusual in a sleeve with uh, this fella playing, presumably, pool. Really, really delighted with these two. Just took it out again for another look, because that's really nice, that neon pink disc here. Ideally, I'd like to get all Weezer albums that I can on coloured record rather than your standard boring black but that's not going to be possible for a couple of reasons mainly because some of the coloured editions now are just fetching too much money but the next one I'm going to show you for my Weezer collection should be a really nice edition as well so stay tuned for that one but there we are Van Weezer 
from 2021 and 2018's, or it might be 2019, self-titled, aka The Black Album. Can't wait to listen to both of these because Weezer, one of my favourite American groups, and I just think they're an act who, because I've enjoyed a lot of their stuff over the past 25 years or more now, I need to really start collecting more of. Thanks to jpc.de in Germany for another brilliant, brilliant, quick and inexpensive purchase. Such good value, even importing from a European country over here. I want to say thank you to all of you for watching, with special thanks, of course, to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. Please see all my referral links, discount codes, my Patreon link and my Facebook group link. That's all down in the description text box. Oh yes, I'm gonna go now and I'll probably listen to the Black Album first, do it chronologically, even though the vast majority of Weezer that I need to buy now is stuff from at least 2018 and before, with the exception of the Green Album, of course from the early noughties which I put in my collection some time ago and I do hope that you will join me next time for my next unboxing of beautiful exclusive limited edition coloured records and my next record collecting video. Cheers everyone. See ya!